Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a removable shallow water stakeout pole for your small boat or kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the parts I'm going to be using in this project. The main component is this Minn Kota trolling motor mount, or you can use a similar type, and then some half inch EMT tubing, some three quarter inch PVC pipe, a Harkin pulley, a small nickel plated pulley, a galvanized steel half inch coupler, this stainless steel eye bolt, a stainless steel hose clamp, another stainless steel link coupler, and then some paracord. So the first thing I did was take a piece of the three quarter inch PVC pipe and cut it to length inside the trolling motor mount where the trolling motor shaft would be. And the reason for this is because this is going to act as a sleeve for my stakeout pole as it goes through the center. Now that I have the PVC pipe in there and acting as a sleeve, I also added this stainless steel hose clamp just to keep it in place so it doesn't possibly fall out. And when you put that on there, you got to make sure that you have clearance underneath here, which there is, so it doesn't interfere with the spring. And then also, so when you deploy it, that it will go freely down and retract up. So once you have all those clearances, you're good to go on this part. The next thing I did was take the Harkin pulley and using that as a template, cut out this spacer from a piece of poly cutting board. And I just laid it on top of here, traced it off, and then drilled the holes through because this is going to give it some extra distance that we need for the pulley to clear. And once I did that, and I decided what side of the mount I wanted it to be on, I went ahead and placed it on the mount itself and then drilled the holes through because what's going to happen is you're going to bolt it on by putting the bolts through this section here. Now that I attached the pulley using the spacer, this is what it looks like on the side there and as you can see in here you have plenty of space for this mount to rotate if that's what you want to do. Now that the pulley has been attached the next thing I'm going to do is size up the EMT conduit and as you can see right now it's going to slide right down in here into my little sleeve and then what I'm gonna want is about six to eight inches of this sticking up above this part of the mount so it doesn't fall all the way through and how I'm gonna make that stay here is I'm going to use the one half inch piece of galvanized coupling and you can see that there's threads in there and that's gonna help this stick onto this empty pipe and then once I get it at the level I want it to be, I'm going to drill a hole in the side of the coupler and in one side of the conduit. And what that'll do is act as a set screw so it keeps it at the height I want it. This is the finished product of the coupler and set screw. And it was easy to get this down the conduit by just hitting it on the edge here with a hammer and the threads just kind of gave way a little bit and it allowed it to go down further on the conduit and then it was easy just to drill that hole through and just run a machine screw through there. Now the next part will be to drill the hole down here for the eye bolt and then put about a 60 degree cut in the end here which will be the point which allows you to stake out your kayak or boat. So here's the EMT conduit after I drilled the hole through the diameter and then attached 
my eye bolt there, which is going to hook up to the paracord. And then on the opposite side here, I made a cut in the end at a pretty good angle and left it open. And this will be the stakeout end of this project. This is how the eye bolt is attached to the secondary smaller pulley there. It's using that coupling link and the pulley then has two points of tie down. The first one is here in one of the slots of the trolling motor mount. Then it goes down through the pulley, back up, threaded to the Harkin pulley that's on the side of the mount and then that goes back to the handle that you're going to use to activate this stakeout pole. Now that you've seen all the pieces and how it's put together, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it for you. And remember, this is just a prototype size, so the actual size that you make is probably going to be different. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.